The star Betelgeuse, not to be confused with the character from the movie, is indeed a colossal celestial body. If we were to swap Betelgeuse with the Sun, it would extend past the orbit of Mars and even reach the asteroid belt. What's even more concerning is that the James Webb Telescope has made a troubling new discovery about the Betelgeuse supernova. Neil deGrasse Tyson has a few words on the topic. Despite its proximity of 700 light years to us, Betelgeuse is the closest star to our solar system that scientists anticipate will ultimately end its life in a supernova explosion. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has been vocal about Betelgeuse, noting its remarkable size and its stunning red orange hue that makes it one of the most noticeable stars in the night sky. He says that it's the closest star to the Sun that will most likely end in a supernova explosion. Like any star, Betelgeuse will eventually run out of fuel in its core. As it starts changing it will expand so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. Imagine looking at the horizon during sunrise and seeing half the sky by Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse's variability and brightness. Betelgeuse is known for its variability with its brightness fluctuating over time. At its peak Betelgeuse can shine incredibly bright, almost rivaling the brightest stars in the sky with a magnitude close to zero. There have been speculations circulating about Betelgeuse experiencing an explosion suggesting a potential terrifying event for observers on Earth. However, this claim might not hold true. It's crucial to understand that a star's brightness can change significantly. Comparing Betelgeuse to stars like Rigel and Aldebaran further emphasizes this point. Rigel and Aldebaran, while at times appearing similarly bright, can vary substantially in their luminosity. Presently, there's keen interest in understanding the status of this extraordinary star. Despite discussions about a possible explosion, scientists maintain that they are monitoring Betelgeuse's behavior closely to comprehend its fluctuations and distinguish any significant changes that could indicate an impending supernova event. Is Betelgeuse about to explode? The speculation about Betelgeuse exploding has grabbed attention due to the star's size and its significance in the night sky. However, astronomers and astrophysicists remind us that predicting such celestial events isn't straightforward. While Betelgeuse's recent dimming has garnered attention, it's essential to remember that stars including Betelgeuse undergo natural cycles of variability and brightness. Scientists continue to observe and analyze Betelgeuse using various astronomical instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope. This high-tech telescope has enhanced our ability to study distant stars and galaxies. Its observations of Betelgeuse provide valuable data that aids in comprehending the star's behavior and potential changes, adding more pieces to the puzzle of this fascinating celestial body. The process of a star reaching the end of its life and culminating in a supernova explosion is an intricate astronomical event. While Betelgeuse has attracted attention and raised questions about a potential supernova, the scientific community approaches such possibilities with caution. The Origins and Distance of Betelgeuse The varying brightness of Betelgeuse stems from multiple factors, including its size temperature and distance from Earth. This fluctuation in luminosity is a result of the star's natural cycles and characteristics. Over a period of slightly more than five years, Betelgeuse has experienced significant fluctuations, posing intriguing challenges and generating scientific interest in understanding these variations. Apart from Betelgeuse, this prominent star is known by alternate names such as Belus BGE and Battelle, highlighting the diversity in naming conventions across different cultures. It's fascinating how a single celestial entity can possess multiple names and spellings, each stemming from historical and linguistic contexts. The origins of the name Betelgeuse can be traced back to the Arabic language. Scholars often debate the most appropriate spelling and pronunciation for this name with the use of Bu considered more fitting in its contextual usage. Situated in the Orion constellation Betelgeuse shines as a red supergiant star captivating observers from its location approximately 642.5 light-years away from Earth. Measuring the Distance of Betelgeuse the knowledge we have about Betelgeuse's distance comes from various sources, including the Hipparcos Astrometric Satellite. This advanced tool has offered crucial insights into the vast distances separating celestial bodies. Yet differing data sources sometimes present discrepancies. While the Hipparcos satellite indicates Betelgeuse to be around 430 light-years away, other measurements suggest a distance closer to 642.5 light-years. These disparities emphasize the complexity and challenges of accurately measuring celestial distances, underscoring the ongoing refinement and advancement in astronomical techniques. Could Betelgeuse's supernova affect Earth? Understanding the vastness of our universe involves grappling with the mind-boggling distances between celestial objects. 
Betelgeuse, with its intriguing variability and immense size, offers a fascinating case study for astronomers and astrophysicists. Despite speculations about a potential supernova event, the recent dimming and subsequent brightening of Betelgeuse raise more questions than certainties. It's crucial to exercise caution in drawing conclusions as natural fluctuations in a star's brightness are part of its inherent nature and might not necessarily indicate an imminent dramatic event like a supernova. The Legacy of Betelgeuse Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, stands out as one of the most striking and intriguing stars in the Orion constellation. Its remarkable variability in apparent magnitude ranging from 0 to 1.6 marks it as a variable star. Although Rigel holds the designation of Alpha Orionis Betelgeuse's unpredictability sometimes makes it appear brighter than Rigel. Unlike many other stars Betelgeuse exists as a solitary star not part of a larger astronomical group. Its classification as a runaway star further sets it apart indicating its trajectory and distance traveled through space. This colossal celestial entity boasts a radius approximately 764 times larger than the Sun and a mass about 16.5 times greater than our solar system star. Despite all the hype about Betelgeuse going supernova, it hasn't happened yet. Instead the star has been dimming and brightening in a pattern that suggests it's just going through a phase. While it's possible that Betelgeuse may eventually explode, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. Betelgeuse's location in the Orion constellation, marking the right shoulder of the hunter, has made it a prominent and easily recognizable feature in the night sky. Its distinct crimson hue further enhances its visibility and allure. This star is well positioned for observation in the evening sky, particularly in the first few months of each year, making it a popular target for astronomers and skywatchers alike. The Exceptional Activity of Betelgeuse to unravel the mystery of Betelgeuse's behavior scientists have extensively analyzed data from various sources including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. These observations have provided crucial insights into the star's recent activities. Findings suggest that Betelgeuse underwent a massive surface mass ejection, SME, in 2019 resulting in the loss of a substantial portion of its visible surface. This behavior is exceptional and unprecedented in the context of stellar observation. Never before has such a phenomenon been witnessed in a star of Betelgeuse's magnitude and prominence. Scientists believe that this violent event played a major role in Betelgeuse's unusual dimming observed in late 2019 and early 2020. Following this ejection Betelgeuse has shown signs of recovery gradually regaining its brightness. However this event raised critical questions about the evolutionary phase of Betelgeuse and whether it is closer to its eventual supernova explosion than previously believed. Could Betelgeuse's supernova happen in our lifetime? The possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova is one of the most intriguing astronomical questions today. While some estimates suggest that a supernova could occur within the next 100,000 years, pinpointing an exact timeline is virtually impossible. If Betelgeuse were to explode in our lifetime, it would be a spectacular cosmic event. The explosion would be so immensely bright that it could be visible even during the daytime for weeks, possibly months. However, given its distance from Earth, about 642 light years, a supernova explosion from Betelgeuse would not pose a direct threat to our planet. The intense radiation produced such as gamma rays and X-rays would likely dissipate over the vast distance before reaching Earth. Despite this, the explosion would leave behind an expanding nebula that could persist for thousands of years, providing astronomers with an unparalleled opportunity to study the aftermath of a stellar explosion in real time. 